So this is standing waves with the LaSalle's microwave kit. Here I've got the microwave transmitter and then over here I've got one of the big metal plate reflectors. I've also got a meter ruler set up here so that I can see the distances that I'm measuring over. Uh, so what I've done is I'm essentially setting up a standing wave between this and this point. So this is transmitting microwaves towards the reflector, the reflector is reflecting them back to the transmitter. And the idea is, is that we're going to get the receiver, plonk it inside the standing wave, and then move up and down it and see what we can detect. So if I plug this guy in, move him into the standing wave, and then if I increase the sensitivity, you can hear that we've got a strong signal of microwaves. So now I'm going to turn him up and move it up and down and let's see what we can detect. So hopefully you've been able to hear that it passes through minima and maxima in, in intensity. So if we have a think about what's happening, um, if we imagine a sinusoidal wave function, um, when it's at a minimum, that's when we're at a node, and when it's at a maximum, that's when it's at the antinode. So if you measure over three consecutive nodes, three consecutive minimums, that's gonna give you one full uh, wavelength. So the idea is, is that measure over that full pattern as many nodes and maximums as you can get, work out how many wavelengths you've got, and that should give you a really good estimate of what wavelength your microwaves are transmitted at. Thanks for watching.